Well, a former Indianapolis TV anchor is now living out her passion to lead young ladies with courage, grit, and grace. Fanchon Stinger, you might recognize her. She's bringing girls together from around the country to learn from positive role models in every area of life, including professional bull riding. Fanchon, thank you so much for joining us. And I'd like to start by asking you to explain the mission of Grit and Grace and give us a little bit of the background. Yeah, well, you guys, first of all, thank you for having me. It's, it's such fun a to delight like across from I you know, right now. to be up close and personal. Well, Grit and Grace is a passion of mine. You guys know I've, I've mentored young people mm -hmm. my entire career, and many of us do. Mm -hmm. And our mission in Grit and Grace is to equip our young ladies with courage, to lead with excellence, integrity, and everything that they do no matter what it is in life because as you know sometimes in life there's going to be the unexpected that mm -hmm. happens yes. there's going to be heartbreak there's going to be challenges mm -hmm. there are going to be things you don't expect to come your way and we want our girls in those moments to have the courage to keep going to overcome to never give up and to fight for the win and that's kind of where bull riding comes in because if you look at the visual of bull riding it's a metaphor for life those bull riders are on top of those beautiful majestic bulls and they the bulls one goal is to not them off to buck them off and sometimes you get hurt sometimes you get stomped on but those bull riders they fight they are true athletes they get back up they get back on and that's what we want our girls to see um, so we provide leadership programming we provide scholarship opportunities internship opportunities and we bring in ladies like yourselves to be role models for these young ladies to teach them some of the lessons and the wisdom we've learned you know it's so funny Fanchon, because I think some people have not realized that you've been doing this work for a very long time. It's near and dear to your heart. Yes. I think that's how we connected the first time. Yes. Um, you know, and it, the work doesn't stop, right? No. So the gala this Friday, you gotta tell us yes. about this lovely affair. I am so excited. So I am coming back to Indiana where all my friends are and we are, and this is the base. This is where Grit and Grace started. We're gonna have a Grit and Grace chapter here in Indiana, but Friday night, we're bringing in country music superstar, Kofi Anderson. Whoa. He's gonna help us celebrate. We have so many amazing local sponsors, Lucas Oil, we have Huntington Bakes, Citizens Energy, so many people from the community are surrounding this mission. And we want it to be a night of celebration and fundraising so that we can make sure that every young girl has the opportunity to step into whatever her passion is. It doesn't have to be Western sports, it could be anything, and develop those leadership skills she needs to be successful. We want to provide them a platform so they have a sisterhood, they have mentors. So now this negative cancel culture that's so permeating our young people encouraging them to make unwise decisions. Now, hopefully they'll have the courage to make success-driven integrity decisions. And I love that you said that because I want to know that it's not required to be part of Western no. sports, not mm -hmm. required to be in PBR, but that's something that you're showing them for we're that metaphor. We're showing them what it looks like to really dig in and to really be your best and have the courage to stand up. The PBR is so beautiful to me because it's truly an inclusive sport. You have people from so many different countries, mm -hmm. so many different backgrounds, all coming around the love of a family-friendly sport, but also bringing people together and breaking down stereotypes, breaking down those barriers that sometimes can happen, and we're doing it all in a beautiful, fun, I mean, this is the toughest sport on dirt. I mean, you have pyro, you have music. Oh, you have, no. I I mean, it is You amazing. play no games. <laughs> My middle sister is into PBR. Okay. Let me tell you, I so mean, you I'm know. a tough chick. Morgan is a pretty tough chick, but like, that's the whole different it's level. Hardcore. It's a whole other level. You know, for anybody out there who's looking at this and like, hmm, maybe I can do this. You have had many years of experience with this. What was it like your first time getting involved with PBR and just this, you know, this community in general? Well, I've been a PBR fan since it started in 1993. When I was in college, I'm an animal lover. And the way the PBR cares for those animals and honors those animal athletes really spoke to my heart because you never want to see an animal or anyone or a child or anyone be abused. So their level of care was number one for me. Number two is I wanted to become a bull owner because I just loved the sport. I loved what it represented. I did not realize that all of those years watching that sport, it was teaching me to never give up. It was mm. teaching me to get back up when life got hard. And I had to apply those lessons in so many different areas of my life. And so I just feel blessed to be able to bring this sport introduce it to new people re-engage old people but our older fans but 43 percent of the fan base is women Wow so the PBR and I have now come together and now we give these young ladies a platform to be honored so Saturday night they're selling out Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Yeah. There wow. may be a few tickets left, but we're going to be honoring young ladies, middle school and high school here in Indiana. And there's also Yay. a special tribute that we're going to give to Officer Brianne Leith's parents, wow. 
Man. She is going to be honored at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. They'll also be at my gala at the Lucas Oil Estate Friday evening as well. The director just there keeps too. on giving. Yes. yes and I'm very excited. Now, Kayla's going to be very involved in the Indiana chapter. So if you have young ladies, middle school and high school, um, who'd like to be involved in Grit and Grace, go to the website, gritandgracenation.org. You can join there. We'll be obviously giving you more information when we get that kicked off. But we want everyone to come and be a part of this because we need to surround our young ladies and let them know that we love them, we encourage them, and that they can achieve anything in life that they were called to do. Thank you so much, Fanchon. Well, I appreciate it. I look forward to this weekend.